up beautiful people welcome once again to H hey and clothings and in today's video we're going to learn how to do this illusion neckline yes illusion neckline for it's been a long time coming and you guys are going to get served today and we already drafted this pattern but the pattern i drafted was sister maria maka style and i'm sure you guys are not interested in that one so i will be doing what exactly is in this picture i'm sure you're ready and you'd love to see how to actually i'll show you the one i did that i was able to wear and i'm going to show you this new one as well so without much rambling let us get right into today's video here is my basic bodice pattern that i have already done this is to my half length and i you have to do this one on the full scale let me show you okay so from the shoulder to here is 15 inches so i cut exactly 15 inches for my half length so we're going to be working on this because if you look at this it's about her half length about her waistline so for us to now work on this first things first open it wide now you are going to first of all you can see that when you study this style you can see that what part of this boob is showing so on this pattern first of all mark out the different areas of the body so if this is a line here obviously the bust is a circle around this part like so right this is your chest line where the bust rising starts from this is where the fullest part of your bust is this is around where the nipple is because this is your true bust line so your nipple is around here and here is where the waist gets to so i hope you can see this line this is like your bust this is like your bust here this is like your bust i've just drawn a circle to show this is your bust this is your nipple somewhere around this true bust line so if you look at this picture very well you can see that part of the bust is showing so from this side where the main fabric is covering part of the bust is actually showing you know part of this part is showing and this other part goes below the bust line it just goes straight up to the waistline so this is what that thing is so just first of all you are doing like a you are doing like a mapping out the design already before you now start working with the darts i'm coming from this chest line here from my mid armhole i'm going down because part of the bust is showing it's even close to the nipple so i'll go inwards a little more i mean it shouldn't be too curved that way let it blend properly just you need your eraser you need all these things so let it blend properly mm? so it's, it's near this nipple part and a chunk of the bust is showing from what we can see so it's going down it's going down it's going down all this place is out to the end but if you see the one we drafted before it didn't come down from the true bust line so this bust was showing was even well covered that's why i said i did maria maka style like a more decent style but since you guys are interested in you guys all want to be bitchy i'm gonna show you how to be bitch <laughs> don't mind me i'm not teaching you nonsense so please i'm not gonna teach you how to be bad to be saying bad things no well you guys are interested in the style so okay so this is how the mapping is okay so from here i want a little below the chest now you know your chest starts from about seven inches so from the shoulder okay so i'm going to about let's see seven and a half inches and i'm coming from that seven and a half i'm just covering it this is what it actually is so i'm going to do the same things we did before measure what i have here increase the chest that's on that point cut it out do all those things so let's quickly do that by now i'm sure you know the drill so here i have 0 0.5 inches so i'm going to increase it by 0 0.25 on both sides so 0 0.25 here 0 0.25 here draw it back to that point first thing i'll advise draw that curve then work on all the other lines okay so when we've done that 
then you do your your princess dot so for your princess dot you're doing a curve here then Do not forget to go in by half an inch here to tighten it. That one is for tightening it. Then go down here, just join it. Then straight. So you have that there, okay? And this is all of it, okay? So let me just follow that outline. You see the outline is even touching that that somehow so this is about it label it one two and three label it you can also draw arrows to show where is joining what so you won't be confused when you're cutting on your pattern I'll cut along this red line if I put this and this together it's not meeting up so I need to trim it you can see see it too so this line this line you see it's not meeting up with that line so please trim it trim it if not so you can see that now can you see what I mean trim it so that it's meeting up when you sew it it's going to meet up okay and now cut this part as well cut here too as well i can decide to tighten it up a little because we want that part to be flat so this will be on the main fabric let me write main fabric here let me keep this away these are for my main fabric then we are going to work on manipulating this dart. So guys, close the dart up and level up the shoulder. So when you're closing it, let the dart face the neck like this, okay? So now that we have this, you need to put paper. Remember the drill now, but now guys, have you been practicing? Tell me, have you been practicing at all? Those my my wonderful people beautiful people that have been following back to back on this channel have you been practicing if you've been practicing guys please send in your creations so that we can see i think we'll start doing like sending your homework yeah so that i know if what i'm doing you're actually getting it or you're just watching because you like me <laughs> please get it don't just watch me. Yeah, of course, watch because you like me, but please practice as well. So let me finish this up real quick. This point to this point. By now, you should know the drill if you've been practicing. Okay, so now you see that this part is not leveling up. Two things, put paper there. Okay, so now just put paper and make it level up. So that part is good to go then for here you are going to be closing this that up like so so the darts are there but you can see that here is not sitting again it's not laying flat see it's coming up because part of the dart entered into this cutout what you're going to do is slash through there so it relaxes remember our slash and spread in dart manipulations very important so now that i have slashed through and it is relaxing i will get paper put there measure what i have there and cut it out from there so if you've not watched my dart manipulation video i'll suggest you watch that too as well it's going to help you i promise Okay, so now it relaxes. So I'm going to, this is the point where the dart is getting to, which is here. Measure what you have there. And um, here to here, I have about half an inch there. 
So I'm going to come here and take out half an inch here. Then I'll draw my half an inch to this same line, this line here that 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 gets to and remove it. You can even just draw it from that part. Draw it out. It took a little more. Just draw it off, cut it out. So you have removed the dart totally from this up part and you see it's relaxing. Let's quickly cut the neckline. And for this neckline, it's going to be a three and a half here by four inches here. Three and a half by four inches. Let us cut it on our two. Remember guys, to place it along the salvage end, the last video I showed you what part, the part that doesn't stretch. I showed you the part that doesn't stretch, that's where you should place your tool on. See, this one is the stretching one. This one doesn't stretch. That's along the salvage. So fold it salvage to salvage. Place your fabric. So I have two pieces of this now. All right guys, so the next thing is to cut the main fabric and I just quickly want to explain something to you. Whenever you are asked to cut on the grain line, that means you're going to be looking for this salvage end. You know, I showed you on the mesh and this is the salvage end on the calico. You are going to be placing either, if you're cutting um, two or unfold, you fold it salvage to salvage and you place your fabric and cut but because we are just cutting one one of each of this i'm just going to open it up but it's going to be along this part that i'll be laying it down so because my cutting table is not so wide i'll just make it this way and place my fabric on the um table this way so i'm going to arrange my pattern on this fabric so number three i'm just going to place it here is just place it along the hurry and um, this is vertical lines this is the salvage end like i just explained so you're placing your pattern along that vertical line like so now for this one now for this one that is the bus that i was scrolling through the streets of instagram and it was recommended that do not place your boss darts like this. Please, what's this bread chipping for? For goodness sake. Do not place your boss darts this way. Make it parallel to this one. So by parallel, that means you're making this part and this part on a straight line. Not before. It's curved like this. But now we want it to be this way. So just tilt it. That is what it, that is what it means basically. And the reason for this is to eliminate any bubbles. You know, when you are sewing on the fabric, sometimes you see bubbles that happens. Those bubbles will make the bust that line not smooth at all. We don't want that at all, at all. So I did this and it worked. I'm heavy on Instagram, thanks. When I did it on my Maria Maka style, it was so smooth. There were no bubbles at all so now the next thing is just to go ahead to put my seam allowance half inch round okay so i have cut this one out and i have cut this one out and we are good to go so first things first we are going to be starting with the tool so i'm going to go right ahead to sew up the tool along the neck along the shoulder along the down everywhere i'll sew it closed then i'll join these darts together this part and 
this part until you are ready to join please don't remove these papers if not you get confused so i'll keep this so this and my back as well so let's quickly do all of that and we'll be right back in just a minute Okay guys, so here's the bust, whoa. So you see that thing worked, no bubbles on the sewing, right? So please try it out, let me know your thoughts as well. I'll just be trimming this part so that they level up, level up. And please, when you're doing your half length, put seam allowance here that you'll be joining, that will be joining to the other part of the gown. Now, this is my tool. I'll just keep this part one side because we're gonna go iron it. Oh, see the bust, man. And there is no, can you see no padding there? Hmm. All the things I'm teaching, use the basic bodies pattern on my channel. Can you see no padding, but this bust is like, see the bust. Really? Where will you see such? Where? Huh? Without any. That's why I use, some people were asking, oh, why do you use the shoulder dads? Why do you use the waist dad? This is why. See it, this is why. See the bust, sitting. Please let me not start talking about all of those things. Okay, so I will just go ahead to trim up. If you need a very small scissors, okay. So guys, if you observed, you saw that I didn't even add allowance to my toe when I was cutting because it still has a bit of stretch. See the stretch? It still has a bit of stretch. See this one? It will still stretch. See it? So when you are joining this to the lower part, I don't, there's really no need for allowance because someone asked the question. See the stretch here? Joining the shoulder, joining the other parts to the lower part of the gown. Even sideways, there's stretch. So just check out your tool, except if your tool is the one that doesn't stretch at all. Uh -huh. You can put the allowance you want, but this one stretches, so I did not put any allowance, okay? So, and that is why I was able to confidently sew this part up, sew everywhere close, because I know that by the time I iron and I fit it, it's still going to be perfect. So I'll go ahead to flip this through the shoulders. It was just the shoulder I didn't sew close. Okay, so I flipped it. Now just take it to my ironing board. Iron this properly. Iron this too as well. And come back to show you. I also have my back. I'll be using the back from the previous one. So guys, if you want to use a tool for the back as well, go ahead to do the same thing. Do your netting for the back. Attach your zip and just come to join it like you're using normal fabric okay so here is what my tool is looking like let me keep this away oh see pr see how pretty this thing is so you see it still has that stretch eh? so there's no how by the time you sew it is going to sit well i've ironed it properly then i have the bottom part so this is how you place it just place it like this and sew it on you see that in a bit then this is my back i just removed the back from the last one we did okay and we'll be working on this one we'll be using this to sew it so let's go over to the sewing machine join everything close and fit it quickly So guys, now this is what we're having. You see that the sewing part is showing on the netting. If you do not want it to show on the netting, do not top stitch it down. It's going to give it a kind of zigzaggy feel. So what you can do actually is to take a hemming gum, 
put it here place it down then iron it so that this part will stay if you have a wonder tape that will be lovely as well so your wonder tape will hold that part down so it won't be peeking through or better still if you are going to be lining your lining will you sew your lining on this part so it's going to come down and turn the back as well so now let us see i want us to quickly fit this see that this is what we need before we now do the cup so quickly let us fit this so guys i hope you can see this clearly so if you had ironed that part down or turn it in with lining you won't be seeing this part here and you can see the bust i hope you can see that there's a peak of bust showing here if it was on an actual person you would have seen the peak of bust and you can see that this one too goes well below the bust okay so let me because this quote this mannequin is not my size actually that is why so i hope you can see what we're talking about so now the next thing we're going to do is see how to draft the cup for this part of the garment so you take your tape roll and measure from your shoulder to where that bust starts to rise which is seven inches on my mannequin and even on me usually your chest line is about seven inches and to where your under bust is going to be so i'm going to be stopping at 12 inches so we're going to be doing a cup that is seven inches by 12 inches and that's what we'll be inserting here so let's quickly draft that and come back to fit it on the dress or on the body this is a half scale pattern and on this half scale pattern come to your shoulder measure that seven inch line and remember what i told you that this represents this chest line this is the bust line and this is the true bust line this is where the half that's where the the center like the line of symmetry of the front so this is the start this is the start of that chest line and we said about 12 let's do 12 and a half to about 12 and a half inches okay why well, i'm doing 12 and a half so that we can fold it in with that maybe like half inch there so that's 12 is like your under bust just measure it on your body okay so from here now what you do is to draw the, so it's coming from here and it's drawing using it just drawing it this way okay so it's going up this way so from here it's coming curve and up onto that point so now you can do your tightening here This would be the cup let's quickly cut it on the fabric okay guys so i have cut mine on fabric here is it here it is this is the this part like so so i have cut it this is this part and this is the other part here i have cut it on fabric okay like this and i have sewn it up i have joined it up like this so we'll loosen up this side seam where this one will be going into losing it up and place it there so now that it's been loosened up put this one okay that's like this put it like this from the top on this part see the bust there put it up sew it down then sandwich it together with this one or you can go ahead to just sandwich it together so let's sandwich it together so this is what it is now okay i hope you can see that and this is the cup that is covering the bust here Okay, so what you're going to do is just fold this in 
on top and pin it down you can do this on your mannequin can you see the cup like a real bust just pin them down you can do this on your mannequin or on your clients when they come for fitting so it's left for you if you're doing it for yourself do it on your mannequin so that you see what you're doing before you wear it so now I'll fold this part in just folding all the raw edges basically okay so and um, once you're done with this make sure you go ahead to use a needle and thread to hand stitch this don't use a machine to sew this down you use a needle and thread and stitch it in place and you are good to go okay guys so i have to actually wait for you i'm doing this for because of you guys who normally and my husband permitted me to so this is to my half length i hope you can see that let me cover that up and this is what it's going to look like so imagine without this part here everything is bare and exposed so you can check it out if you want it to be more open just trim along this part every other part here is fine you can even see that flesh will be revealing here as well flesh here these boobies here will be showing so every other thing is perfect okay it's like what exactly is in the picture right then if this cup is too big trim it down and you can embellish it like what we have here as well to make it to pop it up pop it up bring out the beauty this is what the back is looking like okay so like i said if you want your back to be an illusion cut it double net as well and sew it up there so that you have the whole va -va boom you know you know how we like to do things now in this country we like too much va -va boom so this is what it is so if you did enjoy this tutorial do not forget to give me a huge thumbs up like share comment tell me what your best moment of this tutorial was thank you so much guys i can see you all supporting me kisses kisses i love you all so very much thank you and until we see you in the next tutorial stay safe god bless you bye you prefer to start Mary Amaka style or this one? They are almost close, almost similar. The same idea. Go down low if you even want it more. Left to 